Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Big Easy Channel, or welcome back to the Big Easy Channel. Uh, once again, we're presenting World of Warships Legends, and uh, this time I am bringing you a video of some more uh, destroyer play. Um, I'm bringing you this video with kind of another lessons learned. Uh, hopefully, uh, teach some of the newer destroyer players out there on the, on the subject I'm about to bring up. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm sure most of you are familiar. This is the German destroyer, the Premium T61. Uh, this destroyer is considered by many probably the best destroyer at the tier. Uh, this this is probably my most favorite uh, ship in the game. Um, this ship is always my go-to uh, if, if I'm playing other classes or higher tiers and, and I'm frustrated with the gameplay. Uh, this usually is the ship I go to to uh, help relieve the stress, frustration, and, uh, and I really do like the ship and I've been very successful with it so far. So anyways, what I want to present here is the fact that uh, I've seen a lot of weird destroyer play lately, especially at the higher tiers. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, you know, uh, my point being in this video is, is uh, as you're going to see here shortly, I've seen a lot of, of weird destroyer play, but one of the things I've really noticed lately that's become more common is when destroyer players uh, in the first, like, the this one in the first five minutes of the match uh, when they're trying to get a cap or they're getting close and they get spotted and they just get wrecked um, a lot of them will just kind of throw their own game uh, they'll, they'll try and yellow and, and get in a torp of a battleship or a cruiser or whatever the case may be um, and they kind of give up and they, they kind of just give themselves killed whether it's un, you know open gunboating for really no reason or anything like that so anyways here uh, I've spotted a, a destroyer and uh, generally in a T61 I, I have no issues of taking out uh, destroyers especially Jervis even though they do hit pretty hard the, the big thing I'm worried about is uh, a huge influx of torps but I also got a cruiser with me so I'm depending on him to use the rock paper scissors method here and since he's a cruiser I'm like yeah he'll, he'll take out this Jervis so anyways uh, obviously uh, I get spotted again I'm, I'm trying to take him out I'm, I'm working it and obviously uh, the red team is backing him up and, and shooting at me so I'm kind of going into evasion mode here but my thinking is is well okay I, I got this cruiser with me this Leander and uh, you know I got support and I got this battleship too and I got to destroy on the other side so you know I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of veer off from the cap right now and I'm gonna go find this destroyer because uh, you know I got I'm on the T61 I got hydro and, and I'm more capable of, of getting this guy so anyways uh, I notice uh, Jervis over there and uh, I, I kind of uh, I kind of uh, didn't realize what was going on I, I, I focus him and and uh, proceeding to go in and oh hey there he is again well I didn't realize that we had two Jervises over here so I am absolutely going to get wrecked um, you know Jervis battleships everything's going to fire at me and I literally just absolutely get wrecked um, nothing I really like I'm sure anybody on blue team is like oh here we got another destroyer player that's you know not even five minutes into the game and, and you know he's gonna absolutely get destroyed and, and, and pretty much go back to port so I'm doing the best I can still getting shot at you know I'm on fire put that out you know barely you know just got knocked to 884 health and uh, still trying to fire still trying to take out this Jervis and, and part of the reason I'm in this situation is I didn't realize that the Leander had turned around and kind of ran back toward the battleship. The so, what was what was once uh, I thought I had backup from uh, the cruiser. All of a sudden, I was on my own. So, partially this was my fault, uh, not having the map awareness, not realizing um, that I didn't have much of support from the blue team, and that's usually what what what'll get you wrecked is when you're not paying attention to the map and not realizing you don't have the backup needed to get the cap or take out the destroyer 
let alone multiple destroyers and multiple ships. So, anyways, like I said, um, I'm at 323 health. I mean, we're barely just under, you know, 10 minutes left in the game. I'm completely wrecked. But as you can see here, I'm not gonna just All throw away my ship. I'm not gonna give up. Um, any nice even work. one health is, is I can still do damage. And and on that note, nice uh, you know, I've seen out there a lot of times too where you have very low health ships, especially a destroyer or or even cruisers, and and obviously battleships. But I've seen where they're very low health. They're spotted and nobody's shooting at them um everybody's shooting at the easy to hit battleships but nobody's shooting these low health cruisers or destroyers and they end up still wrecking uh at the end of the game and um you know which is kind of mon mind boggling so you know for for those of you out there i always say you know if, if there's something with low health shoot it get it off the board they may be low health but they still do as much damage it's not like their damage potential goes down so anyways here i am uh, i'm gonna kind of stay out of trouble I'm, I'm still gonna do my job as a destroyer i'm still gonna help spot uh, um i still have you know twist and track i can still locate our the the closest ship i i can still get the cap if that's possible and I'm just still trying to do my job as a destroyer. But at the same time, as you can see, I'm located. I know where this destroyer is. I don't know which one it is. And I also see where the battleships are. So all I'm doing is sitting here just dropping torps uh, in zones. Uh, and any potential of maybe taking a destroyer off the board with torps. Uh, I'm keeping the enemy you know this island between me and them I'm doing everything I can to survive because it won't take much to kill me but at the same time I'm trying to help the team win the match by doing the things I should be doing as a destroyer player now luckily in this game our our team uh, on the left side of the map or west side of the map had pretty much done their job and, and everybody everybody's coming over here so uh, that that's pretty cool I mean, finally, you know, they, we just lost our first ship there. But anyways, I'm just sitting here trying to do my job, going back and forth, keeping these sh ships, you know, hopefully from, you know, not accidentally spotting me, keeping this island, using it for cover, and making sure I don't get torqued by this other uh, um, destroyer or possibly two destroyers since they're out there. Even though I'm pretty sure that he's over there on the other side of the map where that smoke just launched. So, I'm going to launch some more torps, uh, hopefully take out a ship, uh, that Andrea Doria. Um, they looking pretty good. And uh, here we go, sure enough. Um, yeah. Uh, we spot the Jervis. He came out of the smoke, target. so I know where he is now. Attention. I'm pinging to hopefully get him position. off the board. And there we go, we get a torp hit, a flood, a couple floods, and a kill. So, with 323 uh, health, uh, for a few minutes now, we finally get our first kill. And now we got a Congo approaching us. So, you know, once again, you know, I still have that capability of, of a good alpha strike. Um, so I'm going to launch a set of torps at him. The Leander smokes up. And uh, I'm still keeping... Uh, the island and uh, between me and the ships I smoke up here just so I can kind of help out I'm not really in fear of, of getting torped um, but I'm keeping my eye out I got my hydro still going and sure enough uh, yeah those tor torps are spot on and we get our second kill and take out the Congo so um, now there's the other Jervis I see exactly where he is I'm not I'm not worried about him so we still know that other destroyers here our uh, Leander is finally on the move, and we got the Colorado. Something. Well, geez, maybe I can uh, I can get another shot on this Colorado here. It's important. So finally, cap the base. So we got that now, and uh, this match is looking pretty good. So I'm going to continue to fire, use my smoke, and and pretty much do as much as I can. And uh, luckily here. Uh, 
like real soon uh, all of a sudden the uh, Jervis that's been kind of uh, been a thorn to my side he kind of pops up over here he's low health and I uh, go ahead and take the shot sure enough take him out so anyways I I hope uh, that reflects on even though you're low health you can still uh, help the team out and uh, you can still perform much like I did, especially when you still have an Alpha Strike capability and you can still do it all pretty much being undetected. So, anyways, we got uh, 45,385 damage, 3 kills, and 2,175 XP. So, that's a pretty good game in the end. So, anyways, I hope you enjoy enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, learn something and uh if you can spread it to your friends and stuff uh maybe help them out with their destroyer play and uh maybe we can see some of the weird things going on improve so anyways if you liked the video thumbs up please leave a comment subscribe and share so anyways everybody have a good day good evening and good evening out